Hey guys, Slick Ties here, and today we're playing Clash Royale again for you guys. Today we're doing something a little bit different, and we're doing some replays for you guys, because pretty much, I did do a video before, and then when I went to rewatch the video and edit it to put music in the background, I realised I'd forgot to turn on my microphone, meaning that the video was actually deemed useless, what would have happened was I uploaded it, and there'll be no voice in the background, I mean it was just me music, and it probably been really boring for you guys, but pretty much in the last video what happened was, I hit an all time new best of 3195, which is really high, nearly 3,200, which is quite high for a free to play player. So pretty much, I'm going to be showing you both of the games that got me there. So let's just go down. So here they are. So here are the two games. One was against a giant miner, and one was against a giant sparky. So we're going to watch a giant miner first. It kind of did go wrong at first, then I kind of brought it back towards the end. So pretty much, to start it off, I did my usual hog rider fire spirit push. He then put goblins in the middle of the stadium on his side that my fire spirits took out and he put down minions which then I took the rest out of my zap, getting three hits off with the hog rider. He then put down a miner which I then countered with spear goblins and then I saw his mini pecker come towards me so I put down the log which then pushed the mini pecker back, buy me some extra time and then he was distracted by the spear goblins because the log pretty much retargeted him to the spear goblins off the tower. He then put down a princess which was like, oh okay I've not got my uh, log anymore so I just used it on that mini pecker. So I was like, okay, what am I going to do now? I was thinking for this whole time, I then put down my Tesla right near the bridge, which I kind of didn't want to do because I kind of wanted it in the middle because recently I had <laughs> went up against uh, quite a few giant decks, which this one was, but this time I didn't know it was a giant deck. Pretty much then I went for Hog Rider, Fire Spirit, and then he put down Barbarians, which was quite a new one, not really seen that one. Well, for him anyway, I hadn't seen his Barbarians yet in this game. He then put down giant and this is kind of went wrong for me I was like okay that giant's going towards that test so this is going to go well so when I fireball to get rid of his barbarians he pulled down minions then which I wasn't really expecting I was a bit quick on the spear goblins and put them down the minions and took out the spear goblins he then put down a miner which totally erased that tower and I knew from the moment I missed them minions that tower had been that tower was going to be gone and I was this was going to be a two crown win so pretty much I was like okay Let's just ignore that. We did just lose the tower, but oh well. He then put down a mini pecker to counter my hog, which then my fire spirits damaged quite a bit. My hog might have got one hit off taking his tower down to 887 health. This mini pecker was then coming towards my main tower, which I just left because I thought, okay, it doesn't really matter. Just let him hit it once. So he did, and he did that much damage, and that was it. So when I put down Tesla there to counter his giant, which he could have actually just put his giant on the bridge right now and took me out. I don't know why he didn't, because that one have distracted the giant. It was a bit. I was planning on taking out that mini pecker with the Tesla, I think. So then this time I had my log ready to take out the princess. He was then wasting licks right here. Obviously thinking, what am I going to do? He then put his giant nerf for some weird reason. He could put it on the bridge, and that would have just screwed me over. And I don't know why he didn't. And then my hog rider was on that tower. That tower now I knew was taken out, because then spear bombs coming towards it. He just waited to zap down here. So then that tower was gone. I was like, okay. He then thought, okay, since he just put elixir into that tower, which I didn't really put that much into it. Let's uh, try and take it out. But he kind of failed at that. And then, so I had a hog rider and spear goblins coming. He took out the spear goblins with the princess, and then he had that mini pecker coming to him. So I put down a Tesla. I put down a log, actually. I lied to you, right? I put down a Tesla and put down the log, which took out the, all them goblins and that princess. That I was quite happy with. Then I took out the miner. He put down another giant, which I encountered with barbarians and spear goblins. He then put down another princess, which I kind of ignored at first. Put down my hog until I had my log, which then I put down, which also then got damage off on the tower and the princess at the same time I then zapped that which I was hoping my hog was going to get another hit off that barbarian then gets taken out by minions which when I take out with my fire spirits he then and then I put down another hog he then puts down a giant thing I think he thought I was going to put down something else there I don't know why I think he thought I was going to go for a barbarian to try and take out something like that so then I put down a tesla just to counter the giant I then put down barbarians behind the tower which was really risky it actually did screw me here but luckily I've had fire spirits and spear goblins to save the day here all that Mini Pecker would have hit that tower once and the game might have come out much different. I don't think it would have, but it could have. So pretty much now I put down the log, which then took... They missed that princess, actually. He then fireballed that. If he waited a second, he could have got my Hog Rider. The Hog Rider then got two hits off here somehow. And then I was like, okay, we're just going to fireball that. Defend him until we can get a zap or something. And then I got my log. The Fire Spirits I put on there, I said good game, so I was pretty confident I won at this point. And then I took out the tower for the whip. That got me 30 trophies, and I think it got me to... 3,000, and I'll tell you in a minute actually, I'll tell you. So if then we go back to battles here, and keep going down until we go back to the game, which is here, that got me to 3,164 and 30 trophies. It was two hours ago, as you can see right there. So now we're going to watch this game right here. 
this game was a sparky giant guy who was quite confident he was going to win. He was like thumbs up, cry face to me. He'd obviously just beaten quite a few people with his deck and obviously thought I was going to be another corporal to it. But anyway, so he puts down for his start. I put down my spig on just to see what he's got, what he's going to use to uh, try and try and stop that. He then put down his goblins, which didn't really get hit off my tower. He's then doing the cry face. He's obviously beaten quite a few people with his deck. He then puts down his, uh, his giant, which I I just thought, okay, I'm just going to put the lock here because I'm wasting elixir right here. It's also going to get damage off on this tower and slow it down just a little bit by pushing the sparky. Like, I then put a hog in that lane because I was quite confident I could split the push up, which worked. He put down his ice wizard there instead of putting it behind that sparky, backing it up. I then zapped and put down barbarians, which is usually quite a good counter for the sparky. If you do it right, if they have a zap as well, it can proper screw you because they can then zap what you've done. He then arrowed that, then he put down a wizard, which then took out other barbarian spear goblins, which I had taken out the giant and the sparky with. was then kind of teaming up on the wizard, which meant the wizard didn't get any hits off either. Then I was coming down mislaid with that. He put down goblins there, which I'm just instantly taken out. He then put down a minion horde right there, which meant my whole brother only got three hits off in that tower. This was then coming towards me, so I stupidly wasted a tether when I first wasted a zap, which is what I did anyway. I feel that was when I zapped it because I didn't want any more damage on my tower, what I should have originally done was once it got to the bridge and zapped it. This guy then thought, oh, it's just used up his zap, let's, let's just send my spark now, he shouldn't be able to counter it. Because he was putting it in the back of the map, not near the bridge, it was actually, it would have, he would have well screwed me. He had more, he would have had more chance if he'd put it right in front of the bridge, but for some reason he didn't. I thought, okay, Sparky's coming towards me, I'll get over it. We need to quickly cycle back to the zap. It's pretty much, I put down Fire Spirit Sparky, not Sparky, <laughs> Hog Rider, which then hit the wizard, which then, the, what do you call them again? The Fire Spirits hit the wizard, which then meant I could then get back to my, put down my Tesla, get back to my zap and Barbarians, meaning that the Sparky was then deemed useless again. I then had Barbarians going towards his tower along with the Spear Goblin, which he then put down all that. The Hog Rider was kind of a waste here because it just got killed instantly, but I didn't really see that coming. I then put down Fire Spirits, which pretty much took out the Minion Horde and the Goblin. He was like thumbs up. I think he thought I still have a chance here. So I still only got 700 health in my tower. I then put down another Tesla. I thought, okay, I know I can get that tower. I was quite confident I could win here. There was still 30 seconds left of the game. He was coming at me with a, a sparky giant push, which usually messes me up. Uh, but I've kind of got this deck such a quite good. My other one with the arrows is bad, but I think it's a log which gives you more chance here, as you can see here, pushing him back. So you can save a bit more licks, even though you can save up. But in a way, it kind of just helps. So when I put down Barbarians here, after I saw the minion, I wasn't really confident that that was going to stop it. Sadly, the, all the fire I put down for the minion horde decided they were going to put themselves into the giant. So I had to fireball that. Even arrowed that. I put down a log, which then took that down down to 429 health. He had mine at 1697. I put down Fire Spirits, which I think he counted with an Inferno Tower. If I'm correct. Yes, he didn't use that the whole game. Probably could have been that tower could have been well more helpful if he used that the whole game. I was then quite confident I could log that, zap it, and fireball it. So I got it to that much. I knew I wasn't enough of a zap, so I zapped it anyway. I, did, I was pretty confident I was going to win at this point. Put on Fire Spirits just to distract and then fireballed for the win. So that was that game won. That got me to. 3,195 which is an all time high for me and I was quite happy with that it also got me a silver chest so pretty much today also in my shop I've got the mega minion which I know this is quite a cool thing they've got like whenever a new card comes out now they do a card release offer you can buy 100 of them for 150 gems and it ends in 2 days and 8 hours then they also and my thing today there's an arena 9 epic chest which costs 10,000 in my shop today and ends in 1 hour and 30 minutes after it does Pretty much I will be buying that though because I, I don't really use epics that much in my deck as you can see it's more of a commons deck and there's one legendary. If it was a legendary chest, if it was for 10,000 so much, I don't think they would do, I think they're like 500 gems or something. I would most probably buy it, but because I hardly ever use epics, I've got like a lot of epics need upgrading here. I've also got the Freedom Skills which I did used to use, I might do a deck on them soon. I'm also thinking of putting the mirror into my hog deck here, if you want me to do that put it in the comments below. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, commentary of replay. Sorry that I couldn't give you the uh, actual gameplay here because it got corrupt. I make sure I'm always turning on my mic now before videos. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and hit subscribe so when I do upload new Clash Royale content, it comes straight to your box and you can click on it and not have to search me up for it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day and I'll see you next time. Bye.